Hello everyone and welcome back to another bucket coding tutorial video and today I'm going to be doing a long requested tutorial on crates. Um, now like I said in the last tutorial or the one before that this is going to be a lot different than probably what you were expecting because I tried to do a uh, an, I guess an Archon style um, thing with crates and it didn't exactly go as planned but don't worry I will have a second part of this tutorial so this is only part one. Um, of the crates tutorial just doing the basic selecting of the prize and um, how to add prizes into the into the list of prizes and it, it's gonna be a fairly basic tutorial but I just wanted to to do it just so we can get this first part done so we can do all the the um, annoying and the weird crate part of it uh, in the next tutorial once I actually get that working uh, and I do actually have a code for that up next to me on my second monitor and it just it, there was a few things. Uh, it was m primarily working, but it was uh, it was selecting a prize too early. So I'm just not gonna do that part yet. Um, but I will uh, I will very shortly do um, the actual like the crate inventory, doing like a prize spin thing. You know, it, it, I'll make it look a lot better than you know just a chat message popping up saying, oh yeah, you won this prize. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and create a random. So we're going to say random, random. And now down here we want to say this dot random. So we're accessing our, our class equals. Uh, so this dot random. So we're getting our random. And we're going to say it's a new random. So a random can do all sorts of things. And it's very useful for when you want to do something like this with like a crate key system. Um, and it's actually really, really cool. Um, so now we need to actually make a um, a string array called prizes, and we can just do equals uh, this. So this is our string array. So we're gonna add a few things. We're going to add material. So we're gonna add a material. We're just gonna call it diamond. And then we're gonna say, uh, okay, let's add another material. Material uh, dirt. And for the, our last one, we want to say material or no. We don't want material, we want rank, and then um, example rank, or something. Uh, now we could put a space here. Um, yeah, we can put a space there. Uh, but not not for materials. Materials, they actually need to be a um, one of these. And capitalization doesn't matter with the system I did. Uh, so now, go ahead and create your, uh, your command thing and make this void here. It doesn't have to be public or private. You can make it either one. It really doesn't matter. I just have it being a, a plain old void uh, with a player um, as a player parameter and then just make a command that activates the crate or uses the method. Uh, and you don't need a get command thing here because we're using one class. So make it makes it nice and easy. Uh, so now we actually want to go down here and we want to say string uh, choose prize. And this is going to be a method. So string choose prize. Then we're going to say return return prizes and then bracket this dot random dot next int and then by prizes dot length. And that will choose our random prize. That's how easy it is. It'll be completely random. And it's uh, the chances are completely even. I, I that's why it's kind of a little bit imperfect because I have no way of saying um, what what prize has what percentage yet. But I'm gonna look into that and make sure uh, that you guys get your tutorial. And I'm not sure when that'll be. It'll it might be for a few episodes, and I might actually never get around to it. Um, but at least you'll have the basic basic part to do what you want with it. Uh, and maybe with future tutorials, I might actually do it. <laughs> um, I hope I will. Uh, so now what we want to say is we want to say string prize equals choose prize. So we have our prize, and now we're going to make a, um, a string array again, and this is where it gets a little complicated. We're going to say prize index. So we went from, uh, we, so basically we selected one of these. So we have one of these selected. We don't know which one, obviously, but that's what this, this is. So we selected a random prize out of this string array. We turn it into a string. And then we're turning it back into a string array to be converted back to a string. It's pretty confusing, um, but you guys should be able to, you know, get it. Uh, so now we're going to use the price 
uh, the uh, the string split function. So price dot split, and then backslash colon, because that's what we used to divide uh, right here. And yeah, so now now we have our price index. So now we can say okay, if and then if prize dot contains rank. So if basically checking if the prize is a rank, then we can go ahead and just broadcast a message. I guess the uh, user uh, p dot get display name won the rank plus and then prize index. Uh, and then we want to say one because that's what we stored. So basically right here, this is index zero. This is one, zero, one, zero, and one. And so we, the prize is going to be back here. The type is going to be here and it's, it's pretty cool. So then we can put like a, a to do here, add rank. So that, that could be like something with pecs. Uh, so now what we can do is we can say, okay, so else if prize dot contains um, material so basically if it's a material and I spelled material wrong didn't I yep material all right and that should work all right uh, then we can say all right um, so we can just basically copy this down here we can say one the item and then that now what we can do is we can actually give them this item. So we can say p.get inventory dot add item new item stack and then material dot value value of prize index prize index one dot and then two uppercase. It's it's a little confusing, but that's really about it um, for that tutorial part now we can actually go through here and add as many prizes as we want it's actually very 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 unlimited um, so we can do like red redstone and the capitalization doesn't matter so we can say red stone like that we can try we'll, we'll do that and I bet you it'll still work and actually I know it'll still work because it just it makes everything uppercase anyways uh, so we can say rank uh, rank colon like owner haha -ha. and we can put as many exclamation points and characters and stuff we want like we can say ah <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna keep it as owner uh, now if we actually go ahead and um, and make sure our plugin out YML is correct yep there it is and now we can go ahead and build our um, our artifact 13 jar and I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the test server and we will be right back all right, everyone. So if we go ahead and pop on our Lurkle Hearst server, then what we can do is it will be a little laggy, um, and I think it still is pretty laggy. Uh, no, I guess I actually fixed my lag problem. Uh, but I had a ton of video files back up from UHC and uh, an upcoming um, mini series, I guess. And um, yeah, <laughs> that kind of. Kind of made my Minecraft insanely laggy to the point I can't use it. But I did on, I didn't only try recording in 1.7. Maybe that was the bug. Uh, so now if we type in slash test, actually clear our inventory first slash test. We okay. So we won the item diamond. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the item redstone. So this capitalization, um, yeah, it keeps it keeps it like that. So you can see it still worked. It still gave us our redstone. Now if we do this, yeah, won the item dirt rank owner diamond you can see we can just continuously continuously spam this and you can see we got diamond redstone dirt owner diamond example rank redstone owner redstone redstone dirt redstone diamond dirt dirt so you can see it is so so random um yeah there there's no way that i know of yet to uh to make it so there's a percentage for each thing because obviously you don't want to have like everyone on your server getting the owner rank, you only want like, n you know, you you probably wouldn't want to give away an owner rank, but say it was in a, a in a like an actual prize that you could win, then you'd probably want it to be like one in a billion chance of getting it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is our part one, or maybe even the only tutorial I'll do on crates. Uh, thank you to 
I'm not sure who it is, but I do have a picture of your um, your comment, so I'll put that on screen now. And if I didn't put it on screen, sorry, uh, my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is uh, that's the person who suggested it. If I ended up putting that on screen, most likely did. Um, yeah, thank you to them for this uh, awesome awesome idea, and I'll probably get a new um, new bucket uh, coating like lobby ish thing. I'll pro I'll probably um, either do that myself or buy one <laughs> or or maybe just get some random map that we can test our, our plugins on um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys all again in the next video goodbye